Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, the Honorable Minister and uh, the Solicitor General, uh, for for coming. Uh, it's because of your respect for the law, that's why you are here. And I always tell people, I, I commend this uh, government for uh, its human rights achievement. I, I always say that the only thing that this government falls short is uh, on check and uh, reckless corruption that is everywhere. But as far as human rights is concerned, uh, I always give them a positive report card. Now, you talk about some of the international uh, conventions or treaties that are ratified, uh, but not yet domest domesticated. For me, uh, like experts going outside this country, you're, from your ministry, going to ratify these conventions and treaties all over the world, uh, in paint podiums and air tickets, only for, for it to come here and uh, not be domesticated. It means that at one point resources have been wasted, and uh, uh, hence, even if it is not domesticated, you and I know it's not go never going to be done in this country. So I'll urge your ministry to. Uh, to, to, to get speedy with uh, domesticating those other human rights conventions that you ratify uh, around the globe and they are not domesticated to become laws uh, in, our, in our country. Now, you also talk about uh, the, uh, the, the TRC recommendation uh, for certain people and uh, your ministry has uh, written to them already uh, for, for to, 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 to implement such recommendations. So I don't know whether those recommended to, to be banned from public service are still receiving salaries or they are without salaries. Since your minister, your ministry has already written to them whether uh, 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 they are receiving salaries or they are receiving house salaries for that matter. Now, you also talk about uh, new evidences uh, emerged for two people, uh, Mr. Ali Mame Manga and uh, former Inspector General of Police. How were these evidences raised? Uh, I, I want to see this as uh, an isolated incident, follow the same procedure as for the former uh, Inspector General of Police and that of uh, Mr. Al Manga. When new evidence emerged for others as well who are, who, are, who, are, who are implicated, whether you guys will do so. So, my recommendation will be if you guys can let the courts to deal with those evidences that at your level you deal with such evidences and uh, for a potential acquittal, I will, I will urge your ministry to let that. <coughs> For the courts to decide, the courts to devise, uh, devise, uh, decide on those new evidence that at your level, at the executive level. You also talk about uh, uh, independent bodies, hire independent bodies to to to, uh, to look at those cases, these two cases, uh, in those independent uh, this thing, whether you call them consultants or to deal with these two cases. For me, uh, that's going to be another waste of store resources. I'm sure your, your, your department is very resourceful. The, police, the, poli the, poli the case of the former NIA, Mr. Usman, so you never talk about that actually. I'm just trying to raise that uh, for, because the public, uh, there is too much public outcry on that case. So I don't know why the executive will, uh, uh, will, will acquit him of all TRC recommendations and uh, uh, still uh, working when uh, in the full flame of evidence. Uh, we've seen that uh, under his custody, and uh, so many evidences were tempered at, the, at, at NI headquarters. So you have given your speech, and I didn't hear you mention anything about him. And there is too much of the outcry that he has done quite a lot of uh, terrible things under his custody at the NIA. Let's talk about reconciliation. When we uh, want true and genuine reconciliation, it has, it has to come from the president. Uh, we've seen lately the president visiting uh, uh, conspirators of crimes and uh, leaving the victims. For me, if there is going to be any genuine, um, uh, 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 how do I, any genuine reconciliation in this country, it has to start from the president. Let the president visit the victims, so solidarity with the victims, but not only to go to the conspirators for any political gain. So let the president start the uh, reconciliation process. If he cannot visit every family, but the victim center is there for him to go and show solidarity to the victims that I feel your pain, I feel everything about you, so that we can start a genuine national reconciliation process. Thank you very much. Thank you. What do we do? We do yeah. allow him to respond. Yeah, there are, there are, there are many. So yeah, it's better you respond and then we take the next customer.
Um, you took a position regarding domestication, uh, but I can tell you it's more complex than that. Uh, Gambia is not in isolation. International treaties you sign them, but you don't guarantee that every treaty that you sign you will domesticate. There are some treaties, in fact, from the executive point of view, we might take a policy position that we will never domesticate them or conventional. So, because it, it is for Gambia to decide what it wants to reform part of its domestic legislation. So, does it mean any international law that you sign? You have to translate it into your local law. Mm -hmm. So, and also it is a process. So, to call that as a waste of resources to go and sign an international <coughs> law and not to domesticate it, I think probably you, you need a little bit of a verbal with all due respect. We probably, maybe over time, we will create some enlightenment. That's not the way how we do it. So, non domestication of international law is it's not an offense. It's normal you can sign an international treaty. In fact, some countries will sign and enter reservations <laughs> that we are reserving. We're only signing it because you are part of the international community. So you, you can choose to uh, ratify and respect certain provisions. We don't want it to be part of your domestic legislation. Those that you consider expedient to be part of your domestic legislation, you domesticate. But we, like I said in my report earlier, those that we deem necessary to domesticate, we are in progress. But it's also a, a, a process and we are domesticating as many as we possibly think is expedient for us to domesticate. Now, regarding the banned people, uh, whether they are on salaries or not, uh, I'm not too sure, but this is a complex process. That's what I said, we asked them to be suspended. And then we have to look at their case one by one. This is a case by case situation because it's employment issues. You don't want